All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And in the, we are continuing our run. Um, like I said, mistakes were made. I don't mind the upgrade in the chassis and the engine that I did, but I should have never upgraded the cabin. Uh, also, I've gotten two speeding tickets and an accident ticket on this run already. So that has cut into my profit line deeply, cost me 1400 Um... So I'm at about 9,000 euros minus fuel, maybe 8,000 euros for this run. Um, and I still want to put uh, my light bar and horns back on. And I will do that, regardless of what it costs me. I have a feeling I've left this trail in a really bad spot. Use the game mechanics to move the trailer over so I can get out from this light. Yeah, I left in the bad spot, but we could we cheese the game mechanics and we got it out of there. So, um, we should have no problems finishing up this run. Uh, 430 kilometers to go. And it was slightly over a thousand, so that's all good. We got some highway cruising to do, so we're all good there. We gotta gotta pay attention today. No, no more accidents. No more speeding tickets. Can't afford it. I don't want this run to turn out to be a massive loss. We're still making some profit from it, despite fuel accidents and speeding tickets with the loan coming in as well. We're still making a profit. No, bastard. Usually you get out a little bit and they stop. And him, he's just like, nope, fuck you. I should really have my lights on in the tunnel. I don't want to get nailed with it. You don't have your lights on. Uh, fine either. Is this saying speed cameras? What is that? No idea. be nice if the rest of this trip was devoid of um, uh, toll booths too. I'd like to not see any toll booths. Let me get outside the cabin for a little bit. Really crappy driving from behind. <laughs> Still pretty cool. Let's get in with that car on the side there. Almost got up to cruise speed. Almost. I have this feeling I should be in this lane. I would be right.
Boy, this is confusing. Everyone stick to the outside. We're all good. This is one place you don't want to take the wrong direction. You will regret it if you do. Some hill help. Didn't quite make it. Bull! I'm eighty eight. That's complete rubbish. The speed limit through here is not 80. The speed limit through here is 90. And I was down to 88. That's complete crap. Barely going to turn a profit on this run. You know, there's a way, there's a way, limiter, automatic retirement, realistic fuel consumption. I don't even want to see that. I don't even want to see that. It just ticks me off, man. I mean, truck limit 80, really? What ridiculousness is that? A little too fast. We'll lock in the cruise control finally. Give my finger a rest. We did so good on our last run, and in this one, we're three speeding tickets, an accident. So we got 6,000, 7,000, uh, we'll say 7,500 we're hit on. So we're down to 8,500 profit. I mean, okay, yeah, it's still a profit, but still. Oh no, oh okay, no, it's not that intersection, it's different. Oh no, it's this intersection, or at least a variant of it. I don't want to get too close. Don't do this. Oh. 
Phew. Dodge that bullet. Why is this dude going so slow? Swing it wide just for the trailer. <sighs> trying to calm myself down from all these mistakes man because it's so easy to make that kind of mistake and then it just frustrates you and you, you you know I think I've explained it before the little quicksand syndrome where you make one mistake and then you keep making mistakes and you keep making them and they pile up and because they pile up you make more and it just keeps building I'm gonna go for it can't see very well but yeah, that's clear. Of course, I didn't signal that I was going for it, so that was kind of poor, but it's all right. Some good roll on this back uh, back road in here. Get some nice uh, speed going. A little more confidence. I mean, our trailer. I don't know if trailer height makes a difference in this game, or if it's just all trailer weight uh, versus your chassis. But I get a little more confidence now. To me, our trailer isn't that tall. Um, it's not that heavy, and we got a more stable chassis, so I like that idea. Be able to pass him right away. Shouldn't pass him now. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to the room. I'm not just gonna blow around him on a solid line. That's not right. See, it probably wouldn't have worked anyways. trying to make it so that when it breaks up I'll be gaining on him with some good speed good time to go had a nice clear view of the road get plenty of time for make it around even with the other even with the car coming we had plenty of momentum on our side we're already down to about a hundred kilometers left 
we've got we've got a little more than half a tank right now, about half a tank thereabouts. But we really do have a good roll going on right now. We've got momentum on our side. The, despite the, the final speeding ticket so far, uh, we're getting some really good uh, travel time out of this le last leg here. Although that could change right here with two cars and a truck coming up. wasn't a good time to go for a pass, even if I would have made it, and I would have, it still wasn't a good time. I don't see anything coming the other way, man. Why don't I have passing here? I'm going to lose too much momentum to effectively pull it off in any stretch of the imagination there. It's not terrible following behind these guys either. I mean, they are rolling okay. It could be much worse. It could be raining, could be night, could be at night raining. I don't like this corner. You know, some of these overtake areas just don't make sense. And this is definitely one of them, man. Are you going to overtake on a hard right corner? Doesn't quite seem to add up, does it? We really don't have much further to go anyways. We're under 40 kilometers. That's not to say I won't try. If I get the opportunity, which looks like I'm going to, maybe, or not, it's because of the bridge. Yeah, the truck up in front slowing us down. Like I said, though, we're almost there. So it's not a huge deal. Too high. Should probably turn my lights on. <clears throat> of course, every oh no, not everyone, but enough. Nope. I'm making it. Yes, it was a little bit of a risk to pull that, but I pulled it anyways.
speed limit. Do it. Just because I didn't know if this light's going to stay long enough for me to make it through. It would have. That was silly of me to do. But I'm so used to the lights changing so quickly, you know? I don't know why I did that. I just felt like being weird. Ooh. I don't know if they'll be there after I rest. You see the trains. The cool trains. steer there. Good enough. Not bad. We leveled up again, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, some economy driving. 8% fuel saved when driving with a trailer and 8% free. That's a big deal. Right. I'm going to go to the right here on the way to the garage because you see the question mark. That's a recruitment agency. No, actually, it's a small dealer. I thought it was a recruitment agency, obviously. But still, I'd like to unlock it. There we go. I have Echo. Gonna, why am I going to just try and zoom around him? It makes no sense. I gotta start reining myself in more. I'm still trying to play this in a way that I really, really, really shouldn't. You know, we'll just, we'll just back up over people. I will, however, go around him. That is our recruitment agency there. No, me first. All right, um, service. And, um, I gotta do my top, man. I can't not have my top. Yeah, I like Viking. Yeah, we get some, uh, not available yet. But we do get some, um, markers here, which I want at this point. Hmm. 
Actually, for the way I want to set this up, that doesn't quite work, does it? This does, so I'm going to go with this one. No, I have these on the bottom, so this is what I'm going to go with. Because I don't want to have to swap all these out. There we go. Eat up whatever profit I had left. And for that, get everything on. There's our horn. We also get beacons now, which is nice. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's see what our uh, next load will be. Probably won't finish it. Probably have to wait till next week. From here. Oh yeah, there's a train. But is it the best idea? Thirteen thousand three hundred fifty-six euros, seventy tons. Even though it's seventy tons, it's a train we haven't hauled before. Um, pays fourteen thirty-eight per kilometer and is 887 kilometers 997 kilometers it is further but it's significantly lighter which would make it easier to tow uh, it's not rush see that's what kind of concerns me is all of that weight being in a rush at that much of a distance and you see we've got a lot of uh, even though we haven't been to that city. We've got a lot of Scrabble in here. That's a lot of country road driving. And I'm concerned that I'm going to be slowed down. And I'm really, really worried about not making it. I'm just going to be straight with you. I'd love to haul that train trailer. But our truck... You know... It's only 440 horsepower. Yeah, with 2,100 Newton meters. That's not a lot for a 70-ton train. I know I did it before, but that was a much shorter distance. And keep in mind, in a much shorter distance, I almost didn't make it. Now, even though my truck is stronger, I still am concerned about it being... Um, what were the upgrades? New doorsteps, new bull bar, which I don't care about. A couple new bull bars. That actually would have been bad, but... And then we got the Viking. Okay. That's fine. So, honestly, I'm thinking, despite the fact that it pays less and it's more uh, miles, that this is actually... Well, it, it pays more overall. But it pays um, 50 cents less per kilometer. It's significantly lighter. And I feel much more comfortable towing this trailer as opposed to towing uh, the train just because of distance. I really don't feel like my truck would be able to keep enough pace to not be late hauling 70 tons. Not that far. I got to get at least 550 horsepower before I do that. So I'm looking at 550 right around there before I start trusting a really heavy uh, trailer long distances and again and even then it'll still depend on the road so we're gonna go with um, the bulldozers we're gonna go with the 32 tons of bulldozers I really think so <sighs> but that's gonna be me done for this episode folks I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you until next time, this is going to be one big bugger. I'm going to be signing out. And I'll see you then.